aligning patterns to striped or plaid fabrics is easy. These are panels for a traditional awning that were generated by Eclipse. The valance repeats align with striped centers. Each pattern already has an element positioned at one of the striped centers with an attribute set to primary alignment. If you're designing your patterns in Patternsmith, you can add your own alignment elements. For example, for this cushion pattern, I'll snap a center line. Now I can mouse over the alignment icon and set the center line to be the primary alignment element. We'll come back to this cushion pattern later. For now, we'll return to our awning patterns. Next, open the material library and move the striped fabric you want to use into your project. In this case, we want to nest on the same fabric we used for the design in Eclipse. So I'll move Baycrest Pacific into the project. Back in the project window, I can now select that fabric from the material dropdown. When a stripe fabric is selected, you'll see lines that represent the center of each stripe in the nesting view. Imagine the fabric laying like this on your table. Now I'll drop a pattern onto the fabric. I'll rotate it to make its alignment line horizontal. You can do that automatically by changing the alignment group settings from off to primary. The next drop-down lets you choose between horizontal or vertical. Now any pattern with an alignment line will rotate to make its primary alignment line horizontal when I drop a copy onto the fabric. When I turn on the snap horizontal, you'll see the pattern's alignment line snap from stripe to stripe as I move the pattern. The snap buttons are toggles, so you can turn them on or off while you're nesting. Snapping to stripes works in either move freely or nestle mode. It's important to know how Patternsmith defines and uses striped fabrics. Horizontally striped fabrics come in two varieties, single or symmetrical stripes and alternating or paired stripes. If you fold the fabric at the center and both halves look identical, your fabric is symmetrical. This is a single stripe design. If the two halves don't match up, it's an alternating stripe design. All striped fabrics have a selvage edge that isn't part of the repeating design. It is always a half an inch in width and it's there to permit a seam allowance without disrupting the regular design repeats. In order to align patterns on striped fabrics, Patternsmith needs to know the repeat distance between stripes and the offset from the fabric edge to the first stripe. We could measure these values directly, but we get better results by measuring the overall width. Then let Patternsmith subtract the selvages and divide by the number of repeats. Single stripes are the simplest. Just count the number of pattern repeats and measure the overall width of the fabric. Patternsmith uses that and the selvage width to calculate the offset and repeat. The fabric we're using is 46 and a half inches wide and has five repeats. The material library has calculated the offset and the repeat for us. Alternating stripes come in pairs with one stripe in the pair usually larger and more prominent. These are less common and they require two extra measurements. Measure the overall width and count the number of repeat pairs. This fabric is 47 and a quarter inches wide and has six pairs of stripes. It's possible to roll out the fabric with either side facing up, but the offset to the stripe pattern is different each way. So decide how you'll roll out the fabric and always do it the same way. Measure from the near fabric edge to the center of the first stripe from the bottom and then from the far edge to the first stripe from the top. Enter those measurements. With perfect fabric and perfect measurements, your near and far measurements will add up to half the actual repeat distance. This won't be true for actual fabric rolls, so Patternsmith does the math to give you an average location for each stripe. The final offsets shown to the primary and secondary stripes are both measured from the near fabric edge. By default, you'll align to the primary stripes, but you can choose the secondary stripes with a radio button. When you're adding striped fabrics to the material library, it's best to set the edge spacing to zero. Patterns often use the selvage as a seam allowance, so you'll need to nest all the way to the fabric edge. 
When you're ready to cut your patterns, jog the cutter's pointer to the bottom edge of the fabric. Press start and all of your stripes will be aligned. You can also nest patterns on fabrics with vertical stripes or plaid designs. Each pattern needs alignment lines. Earlier, I designated the center line of this cushion pattern to be our primary alignment line. If I wanted to nest this pattern on a plaid, I'd add a horizontal line in the center, set it to reference, and designate it a secondary alignment element. I'm going to select a fabric from the material library that has vertical stripes. In this case, it's a pleated fabric with repeats every three inches. The distance from the fabric edge to the first vertical stripe will always depend on the last cut made from that material. For this reason, we recommend that you always use zero for the distance to the first vertical stripe. I'll move this fabric into the project, then select it for nesting. Turn on the snap vertical function and change the alignment to primary and vertical. If you're nesting on a plaid fabric, turn on both Snap Horizontal and Snap Vertical. Nest all the patterns you need. When you're ready to cut, jog the carriage pointer to the first vertical stripe and the bottom edge of the fabric. You're ready to go!